Oder beharrt auf eure Meinung. Wie ihr wollt, aber ihr müsst es nicht zwangsweise kundgeben. Nicht zwangsweise. Also, es ist immer eine Sache. Ja, es ist schwierig. Es kann, es ist ein ewiges Tee. Es ist, ja. Alright, it's time. I have made my decision. The guild will be here in three days time and my venture in isolation awaits. It's odd that I never required any sort of dubbing. I remember that the old Minotaurs, the ones who still remember the pre-fallen world, acquired the title after breaking from the council. It's all rather stupid. Modernity. They call themselves members of the guild order and the unknowing all gather together to make decisions on who is what before the conflicts even began. All it took was one spark, a single disagreement between people entrenched in their own ideas to initiate an infinite turmoil. The guild called it heresy, the order called it ignorance, and we, unknowing, eat around screaming about their need to be educated, so as to stop the oppression, to think the ideas weren't even their own. Their ideas came, ideas came straight from the old city, yes I have seen how this works. These green pipes, these charitable structures, they are all... They are the root of our entrenchment. Well, no longer. I will find the source. Hm, ich würde auch gerne... Also, also, ich wär, würde mich auch sehr in, den, in, äh, in die Minotaur-Gruppe einfinden. Weil nur die alle, alle drei Gruppen zusammen, sobald die einen We Mittelweg finden, dass wir besser oder Teilaspekte zu einer führen, zum Einführen. The Floodgates. Auf dem einen Container stand noch Leviathan. Und hier liegt ja auch noch der Podwal. Von der Größe her würde ich sagen, der ist noch nicht alt. Die Frage ist oft sind Portwale eher verwirrt und werden an Land gespült, sobald sie... Gut, ich war... Ja, ich bin mir gerade nicht sicher, ob Portwale auch mit Echolot arbeiten. Also, ob sie das zur Orientierung benutzen, nicht bestimmt, aber gehe ich mir fast von aus. Ähm, irritiert durch irgendwelche Klänge und... Ich weiß es nicht. Ich weiß es nicht. Lesser Eyes... Watching. Eyes of God upon us. Just eyes. No perspective. Hmm. Ah, but the narrative... Ah, but the narrative. Uh, only they could have seen that we all see. Every last one of us. Well, as Minotaurs, pre -mods, all of us. We all see. Every last man, woman and child on this island can truly see. It is simply that we all see a different narrative, a different truth. Oppression of the diversity of voice. Yes, the diversity of truth is what makes truth a nonsensical enterprise fit only for those who would oppress. The rules are gone, yes, gone, gone, gone. And there is nowhere now to return to but the truth of all truth. These voices of old are yet more narratives for the mixing pot of our time, the great soup of numerosity that is our species. We should welcome them, we should embrace their absolute correctness as a lack of correctness itself. What can be known? Nothing. Nothing. What can be understood? Nothing. Oppression is the monopoly of a narrative where other narratives could lie, you fools. You absolutely insane mongrels, I hate you, I hate you all and your non cooperative narrative. Sorry to forgive me, please, but only in my life or a collective narrative can I condone the rejection of our entirely problematic oppression. It is, 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 it is yes. Truth must be compatible with itself, you say. No! Truth must be allowed. I reject the singular nature of, our, of your universe. Oh, order and your pretension. I reject the infallible nature of your tradition guild. And I reject every last one of you preposterous noisances. Who would stifle my narrative? My narrative is a dream. 
Would you suggest that there's a reality that is not my own, not your own, and not if, of anyone to have ever thought? You fool, you pretentious, arrogant fool, there are no dreams, there is only a multiplicity of narratives that all show an equality, equally div diverse truth that aligns itself within the experience of those who would be willing to live, to imagine. I will kill you, O oh, you oppressors, I will not hesitate to cut the heads of you, every last one of you, stupid buffoons, and drink the blood of your useless corpses, I stand. For the right of the people, the right of all people, to their own truth. Come forth, those who would destroy my narrative and show your vile and disgusting nature. I am certain, you do I am certain that you are wrong, you cretins, and I will not stop until you allow our voices in all their diversity to be heard. The voice of one who is unknowing. Alles klar, wir haben also mindestens zwei Extremgruppen, also wirklich Extremgruppen die sich so hart auf ihren Kurs äh, versteifen, dass... Naja, alles, alles verloren geht, was Sinn macht. Oder vieles verloren geht, was Sinn macht. <lacht> da ich ja glaube, dass wir ein Minotaur sind, habe ich natürlich jetzt schon direkt... Ähm, äh, Vorurteile. Oder, was heißt, nein, 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 nicht Vorurteile. Aber ich sehe mich schon direkt, ähm, nicht kompatibel mit den anderen Gruppen. So. Sagen wir so. So, die Frage ist, am Anfang war noch eine Exit-Door. Ist das wirklich eine Exit-Door, oder was, was, was geht hier ab? Ich weiß nicht, <lacht> ob wir da die nächste Erinnerung, den nächsten Traum bekommen hätten. Ob wir hier noch irgendwo Solomons Note finden. Oder uns nächste Note. Bin mir nicht sicher. Aber ich muss sagen, das ist ein tatsächlich sehr schöner Ort hier. Wirklich. Oh, bitte nicht das nächste. Gott sei Dank. Wollen wir noch Sachen finden. Sachen von unglaublicher Wichtig Wichtigkeit. Wicht Wichtigkeit? Oh, bitte nicht acht. Oh, Gott sei Dank. Ich denke die ganze Zeit, wir kommen weiter. Ich will das ja noch gar nicht. Das sieht mir aber so aus, als ob wir weiterkommen könnten. Ja. Naja, gucken wir hier mal. Vielleicht, vielleicht finden wir hier die nächste Note. Is this, is this dream truly manifesting? Could the voyage be useful beyond escape? Ja, das ist tatsächlich was aus unserem Traum. Halluzinationen, Suizidgedanken und Jetzt habe ich vergessen. Ach ja, Migräne. Zeichen. Ja, davon, dass wir auf jeden Fall das unreine Wasser getrunken haben. Nun gut, schauen wir da mal weiter. hört Vögel, aber es ist trotzdem sehr, sehr still. Vielleicht finden wir hier noch was. Ich glaube, solche Pilze wachsen nicht auf Sand. Aber hey, okay, okay. Oder Kies, oder... Naja. natürlich nachgucken. Sechs, okay. 7th of October. After writing that last note, I was met by an old minotaur who called himself Abraham. 
His sudden appearance startled me, but he seemed far more concerned with the fact that I was writing my thoughts down. I must admit I don't really know why I'm doing so. He kept saying something about an ideal. He was almost manic. manic. Isolated for years, I'm sure. Anyway, amidst all of the shouting and crazed laughing, I could make out several things that seemed to make sense. He spoke of the inland and how what, of, uh, how what all of the ministers thought was enlightenment was actually a lack of what we once held dear. He said that our certainty need to be destroyed, but that the old city still holds our belief. I was already fascinated. But then he told me a story. I will write it down. So, he said that there was once a beggar who lived in a hut. The man was so poor that he could not afford to repair his hut each of the numerous times a storm would damage it, leaky and dank. His res residence was simply a sad excuse for the minimum required requirements of survival. One day, a golem, an impressive creature of stone and strength, came to his hut. The beggar, embarrassed by his abode, reluctantly decided to let it inside. The golem offered the beggar a new home in genuine charity. Wrapped by the sincerity of this creature, the beggar accepted the offer. The golem began to work. His method was altogether astonishing. Consistency abounded in the efficient construction of this new home. In fact, the golem began constructing around the original hut. The beggar did not even have to move as his new residence was created, and what a residence it was, to the surprise and delight of the beggar, the golem constructed a castle, laced with beautiful tapestries and pristine marble. The structure's strongest quality was its security. After the work was finished, and the golem had left, the beggar now sat atop his de defenses with an overwhelming sense of certainty. No longer would he, would the winds and rain threaten him, the beggar now elevated to royalty, and no need to leave his new residence. All that he needed was within the castle's walls. He lived in this fortress until his death, happy and content. After telling me this, the minotaur asked me if I would have accepted the golem's offer. Of course, I said yes. After all, a castle is far better than a hut. This much is obvious. But Abraham then said something that made me question myself. He said, if only he had not invited it in, promising a seductively safe life, it was welcomed. But around him, it only built a cage. <sighs> Vom Ding her? Ja. Stimme ich zu, dass dass im Nachhinein vielleicht nicht die schlauste Idee war. Andererseits, wenn er in der Situation war, dass er wirklich fast nichts hatte und niemand ihm was anbietet, was besser klingt, nimmt das an. Menschen tendieren natürlich zum Überleben, zum äh, Greifen nach etwas, was ihm hilft, wenn, auch wenn es ähm, im Nachhinein vielleicht nicht die beste Entscheidung ist, aber was er hat nicht zwangsweise Zeit dafür da, oder die, ja, die Energie darüber nachzudenken, auf was er sich da einlässt. Es klingt besser und es war besser in der Situation. Ähm, außerdem, wenn er selbst wenn er den Käfig um sich gebaut hätte. Also ich rede jetzt wirklich nur ähm, äh, wirklich äh, wörtlich gesprochen. Ähm, also er hätte ja so gesagt dann sich isoliert. Ähm... Vorher werden ihn die Leute auch gemieden haben. Jetzt wird er vielleicht sogar äh, gesucht von Leuten. Wie vielleicht, weiß man nicht. Andererseits, ähm, Chasing Your Own Dreams ist teilweise interessanter. Die Frage ist auch nicht, ähm, naja, bist du einmal zu diesem Fall gekommen? Wenn du weit unten bist, musst du dich natürlich auch fragen, wie du dahin gekommen bist und wie du wieder rauskommst. Oder wie du dich damit arrangieren kannst. Und eigentlich kannst du dich nicht wirklich damit arrangieren, wenn du dich immer mehr isolierst. So, nicht wörtlich gesprochen, sondern wirklich... Vielleicht, meine Interpretation. Ja. Ja. Hm. 
exploding. 8. Behemoth Und wieder das Zimmer. Sieht genauso aus wie vorher. Und der Text ist auch der gleiche. Nur die Strukturen hier draußen ändern sich. Also wir haben viele Türen verpasst. Viele Türen nicht genommen. I remember the exact moment. I remember the slight touch of ocean air passing over my skin as I stared aimlessly into the afternoon sky. It's interesting how, though generally more depressing, I actually preferred a cloudy sky to a clear one. Two vast expanses of blue separated do not have that quality of diversity that a more speckled display boasts. This is not to say that a cloudy sky is wholly unfortunate, because there were moments amidst the grey that I learned to dwell in. I learned to live in the moments where the heavens would tear through the sky as if digging through dirt, creating little bursts of pastel light in the otherwise desaturated gloom. It's as if clouds are nothing but a frame. I wonder if without them, happiness would turn into a flat portrait of stagnation. Natürlich braucht man Ecken und Kanten. Und auch Referenzpunkte und Unterschiede im Gesamtbild. Kontrast. Praktisch und theoretisch. So ist das. Aber das gehört bestimmt nicht so. Okay. Atmet auf jeden Fall. The Void. Ich hätte gerne eine Auflösung zur Bell Abraham. Sorry. Okay. Nein. The Leap. Oh, wir sind in der U-Bahn-Station. We're almost there, Leviathan. The final step between me and the old city is upon us. I wish I could take you along. Also wir sind vielleicht der Leviathan und in uns ist noch jemand anderes. Ein, ich glaube nicht, dass er Minotaur ist. Doch, ich glaube ich schon. Ein Leviathan und ein Minotaur. Hm. Oder sind die Leviathans nur eine Untergruppe von den Minotaurs? Aber wir haben ja gelesen, dass die Leviathans sich geäußert haben zu den Minotaurs. Also es wird jetzt sogar was höher... Ach, ich weiß, man weiß es nicht. Ich weiß es nicht genau. Das war ausgeschwärzt. Will you remember me? After all, I could never forget you. And how can I even begin to thank you for all that you've done for me? You protected me from a world that I was too weak to bear. But now the distant shores of another reality are calling me home. To something I've never seen before. A dangerous and unpredictable world lies ahead of me. But I'm ready to let loose the sails. Ja, er wollte die ganze Zeit nur... Okay, bitte nicht... Oh, bitte den Raum, bitte den Raum, yes. Just want to sail. Ja, das Segeln. Freiheit. My father once recited a poem to me about an older world. I believe it was called Dover Beach. I can still remember the imagery, just the words that escaped me. We stood at the shoreline, 
Waves crashing in, each wave eroding yet another piece of what I once believed. I think my father saw what was happening to me. He saw the dwindling of my dreams, the death of discovery. I could no longer rely on ABBA to build my dreams back up. Left with nothing, I convinced myself that there were no dreams. Hmm. Noch mehr Texte. Exit. Toll. Everything changed. However, when I learned to use my dreams, I had always dreamed, of course. But the question was that of their usefulness, not their existence. I could not esca escape them. So the letter, letter point was mo moot. Okay. Dreams have an incredibly powerful hold on one's perspective or reality, even if they have little to do with them themselves. After falling, my assumption was that the dreams existed to taunt me. They seemed to only contrast the ideal with the real. This made the real all the more depressing, but I do not believe that this is where the dreams have their use. Dreams act as impossible ideals that should never be fully grasped. Rather, they should serve only as a direction for progression. The dreams will never be realized in your lifetime, dear reader, but the real will change marginally. A marginal effect caused by a relatively small part of humanity. Your task is to bring the dream to the real, even if the effect is marginal. One giant leaf, reader. Abraham. They call me, at least that is the name I gave to the young dweller who asked me the other day. What an irre irrelevant question. My name is an important... It's as important as my status as an individual anyway. I could see the glimmer of pointlessness in his eyes. It is the driving force behind progression. If only he can accept the marginal nature of the process. He must be able to remove his worth as an individual so that he may take his own leap for only a small reward. When meaning is constructed, the only driving force for progress is the acceptance of uncertainty. Dreams. The old city never offered enlightenment. On the contrary, it offers only further dreaming and it is now time for me to take my leap. I wish more would come along. Yeah, don't cling to the old ways. And especially not to the old city, so wie es hier heißt. Und so wie es in dem entnehme. Ja, aber wieso sollte man einen sicheren, also für sich gefundenen sicheren Spot aufgeben? Den, ein Ort, den man nicht unbedingt anders kennt. Für manche Leute bestimmt schwer, besonders ältere meinetwegen. Goodbye, Bill. Bill. It happened. I fell. I began to defend my happiness with arbitrary walls made of certainty and realism. I created rules and structures that only had the effect of caging me in something entirely arbitrary. I did not. I did this all for the sake of happiness. Yes. And the uh, as the others began to and roach on my cage the dwellers with differing perspectives i became more vigilant in my defense until i was so villainous i harmed anyone who dared challenge my sight of course i was never a dweller i never had their communal spirit even from the start of the end it was i was called a minotaur that was simply due to my misanthropy however and it had hardly anything to do with my desire for the inland Although it is true that their communal tendencies tend to make it difficult to break out of their own cage. But I dare say it isn't impossible. At first I thought the inland was a farce. I had been told by the few other minotaurs that I'd seen that it ha was some sort of center for enlightenment amidst our fallen world. The dwellers who had spoken to me on the subject had a far less optimistic understanding than again why would they need enlightenment when certainty already exists. Minotaurs have the advantage of being self 
deprecatory. Deprecatory? That is to say, when you have no true arrogance manifested in certainty, you will latch on to any anchor you can find. It was the same for me, it seems, as I eventually adopted the notion of the inland held the answers. I also began to feel as though I had none. My desperation grew as I lost all sense of truth. I began to feel my sight fading, and the thoughts of suicide crept in. I had truly hit the bottom of the broken progression. This was an especially unfortunate place to be in, as it then became impossible to see the upward tang tangent. Tangent? Tangent, yeah. What? Ten tangent? Tangent? The leap becomes obscured by void, and there is. And there doesn't appear to be any progression at all. <sighs> Hello. Damit haben wir alle. Schön. Wir haben eine Menge Lesestoff noch da vor uns. Achso, warte. Ah ne, warte, da kommen wir auch nicht weiter. Ja. Ach ja, richtig. Hier sind wir. Ah ja, genau. Wir gehen gleich rechts. Ja, ja, ja. Ich habe auch absolut keine Timeline im Kopf. Wie lang was hierher ist, was Halluzinationen sind, was Erinnerungen sind, ob das hier ein zweiter Fall war, was, was ist hier überhaupt, ich, ob wir de so desillusioniert hier rumlaufen, eigentlich sind hier noch andere, aber wir kriegen es nicht, ich weiß es nicht, so in unserer Welt gefangen, oder auch nicht, also irgendwas haben wir mit dem Kopf, ja, aber... Das ist ein Leviathan, also ein Seeungeheuer. Oh, wir sind genau das Gegenteil von dem, der... Er will die ganze Zeit segeln und wir sind das Seeungeheuer, was da unterschlummert. So ungefähr. Oder das Ungeheuer, in dem Fall. Here it is. The Leap. Goodbye, my old friend. Goodbye. The leap. Also das Loading hat natürlich jetzt die Atmosphäre vollkommen vernichtet. 10. The New.